Hello everyone and welcome back to Muna Zion. I just finished a pretty hectic uh, episode of Ori and the Blind Forest and I need something a bit more relaxing, so we're back in Muna Zion. Yoki, do you have anything else to say? Do drop by any time, dear girl. Okay, let's see, what else do I need to do? Mum's old friend Claire, someone tongue, uh, somewhere tongue so people hang out at the bar. Oh wait, I have a map. Nope. Nope. Here we go. Um, okay, well, let's just wander around a bit. I think, I think that apart from the, I don't think there's much past the um, archive. So I think if we go back in towards town, we'll see some people. Maybe run into Claire. Find the bar. I still love these guys, though. Ooh, what's this? Piccolino seed! Oh, so I can pick seeds now! Awesome! I think because I have the um, encyclopedia, I can now pick different plants. That's so cool. Can I pick this? Oh, I really want to find more. Come on. This is really pretty. Red tea plant seed. Oh, I like this one too. Knotty fern spore. Should I keep going? I'll keep going a little bit. Oh. I'm just gonna go back the other way. How about? <laughs> I think I'll go back into town because that kind of looks like danger and places I don't want to go. So we're just gonna keep going back. But that's really cool. Are there any? I need to keep an eye out for more seeds. Oh, here's some. These bushes, I think. Vogelberry seeds. Or Vogelberry. Oh, look at the caterpillar! Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Maury's Moorish. Moorish? I guess like Moorish, but with Maury. Nice pun, Maury. Is Maury inside? Oh, she is! Like a mini version of the tree Grandpa lives in. Looks like they need a bit of water. Um, wasn't there something else here? Um, anything else to look at? Let's talk to Mori. Kai, my love. You've caught me in my natural habitat. I'm usually here cooking up something yummy. If I'm not tending to the garden where I grow all the veggies. It's a bit late for lunch right now, but come back if you fancy a bite tomorrow. Uh... Should I take anything to Grandpa? Should I take anything for Grandpa? Oh no, don't worry about that. I keep him well supplied. Oh, but I've got so much washing up after all that. A simple stir fry tomorrow, I think. <laughs> Have you had a chance to get to know our tongue yet? Um... Yeah, I definitely bumped into him. He's a lonely boy. You'll be wonderful company for him. Oh, and Claire is dying to say hello. She's in the harbour with her shop. Okay, got it. We'll leave you to it, Maury. Can we look here? Cool little garden. Looks like you can get through it get to it through the back of the stir fry. Can we go? Uh No, I don't think we can. Okay. It's all good. Um, let's... <gasps> More seeds to pick. Giant tree fern spore. Oh, I thought this was like moss on the thing. Let's talk to you. Bibbidi boo, bibbidi boo. <laughs> oh, are you here to hear my fish cake song? It's very famous. Uh, <laughs> fish cake? Bopec's famous fish cake song. Guaranteed to make all the fishies sw swim up and say hello. I'm glad you like my song. I do, it's a great song. Spike does not. Spike went into the bar over there to get away from my darned nuisance. Oh. Uh. Let's 
Well, I like it a lot. You can be my friend as well as Spike. The song catches friends as well. <laughs> he sounds really sweet. What is he using as bait? <laughs> Wonder if mum and grandma ever sat here and looked out at the sea. This is such a pretty area. I don't know how I would cope with the humidity though, because it seems very swampy. Jello seed. Um. This root is huge. I wonder how deep it all goes. Um. I think this is the bar here. I just want to see if there's anything else I can pick. Let's come have a look. Is that a beetle head? Giant bug head. Sure, why not? It sounds awesome. Oh, hello! It's, is there anything to look at first before I... I like to look around before interacting with people, just so I don't miss anything. Seems like there's a lot going on. Or was that not a lot going on? I don't know. Let's have a chat with these guys. Well now. How's it going, Jitterbug? Kai, right? Mew, you look amazing. <laughs> Uh, be funny, be honest. Is there anyone who doesn't know I'm arriving today? Oh, all the locals bending your ear, are they? Spike, you're not helping. Well, now we can hold something if you want. <laughs> what is she dumb? Mewhi's a specialist in quiet. That's how she brings in all the prime meat, hunting. Uh, Mew seems really interesting. You hunt? Cool. Sure. Mew's our resident hunter and punk rocker. Spike. Oh, you're going to tell me it's not punk rot, it's <laughs> rock, it's sludge core or something. Spike. Whenever I hear people talk about music genres, I feel like an idiot. You and me both. But hey, Jitterbug. You let me know if there's anything, if you need anything, okay? If you can't tell from my manner of speaking, I was an out-of-towner just like you. It was 20 years ago I landed on these peculiar shores. And I still sometimes feel like a newcomer. It can be a mite overwhelming. But we're all friendly folk. They really are. Yes, I think you'll get along mighty fine here. Mighty fine. <laughs> they seem really nice. Have you met all the other folks yet? Claire's been hankering to see you since we heard you were coming. She's a fine woman, mined like a razor. She keeps my stock count for me. Fastest math in the West. <laughs> yep, sure, real good at counting. Hush, kitten. Don't make me regret fostering you. Okay, so... He's like her foster father? Honestly, the number of times he's threatened to un-adopt me. Okay, so... He adopted her. That's sweet. Huh, <laughs> well then don't give me cause for it. Okay, Spike's disappeared. Oh wait, he's just behind the bar. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go find... Claire, harbour this way. Wait, I want to read the sign. This way to the boat. Oh, I love this place. Oh, okay. Hello. Let's look at him. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go all the way back there. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's come talk to her first. Oh my goodness. You look just like her. Uh... Uh, hi. Oh my gosh. I don't mean to- Oh gosh, I feel so silly. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm so happy to meet you. Um... Uh, should I go get some tissues? No, no, I'll get a hold of myself. Sorry. Oh my gosh. It's just- It was such a sweet, wonderful time. Seeing you walk up to me after all those years. It just suddenly brought it all back. And now I can't stop. P 
Please just leave me be for a bit. Go find Eileen. Uh, Eileen. In the square. She's lovely. She'll be on her break about now. I'll come back later, sure. Thank you. Wow, so she must have been really close friends with Kai's mother. Um. <laughs> wow, I did. <laughs> Very emotional. So I'm pretty sure Eileen's place was back this way. Or up there, where the sausage dudes were. Oh, hello. Oh my days. Kai, honey, welcome. It's so lovely to see a fresh face around here. <laughs> she has a big smile. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth. It really is. Well, I think so anyway. It's, uh, totally nice. I suppose it must seem a little backward to you, coming from the big city. But just you wait, the dawns and the wildlife. It's bliss. Oh, sorry, how rude. I'm Eileen, and this little one doesn't have a name yet. Oh! Okay. It's half me and half Grobby, so who knows what to expect. Um, the guy who sails the ferry? You don't sound impressed. Oh, <laughs> he's not much of a listener. But he's very caring when you get past that. Oh, before I forget, you must go and see Claire. She was your mother's best friend and she's dying to meet you. Um, I think I might have upset her. Oh no, I bet she cried. She was so worried she would. It's nothing personal. Or actually, it's because she loved your mum so much. She'll be alright in a bit. You might not feel like it yet, but you're coming back to some family history here. In a good way, I hope. I definitely have a friend, a best friend, that I feel like if I hadn't seen her for many years and then I saw her daughter walk up to me looking just like her, I would react like that. Ooh, more plants. Silver laurel seed. Um, oh, I should check the journal. Okay, here we go. Um, the bar is pretty cool, actually. Mew was funny. I like her fur. Is it rude to comment on someone's fur? Probably best to say quiet. I don't think it is, like, as long as it's a compliment. OMG, um, cannot deal with tears. I hope she's okay. Claire said to go say hi to Eileen by the bathhouse. Eileen seemed nice, having Grob's baby, though. Wonder what she sees in him. That's not very nice. He seems like a, a nice enough guy. I got off on the wrong foot with tongue. I should go find him. Maybe he's in the yard behind the harbour? I should go see if Claire stopped crying. Okay, we can do that. Um, I did see Tongue earlier by the harbor. Can we talk to you at all? No, we can have a look at this. These frying wires seem totally safe and not at all a fire hazard. Any seeds? No. Oh. Let's head down to the harbor. Oh, Claire. She seems happier now. Kai, thank you so much for coming back. I'm okay now. It was a bit much, that's all. But I just wanted to say you're so welcome. Um, thanks. Let me show you my shop. I've got all kinds of things here. Fruit, vegetables, meat, fabric, furniture, pearls, cutlery. Um. Oh, I didn't bring any money with me, though. We trade in goods, not money. Everyone puts things in and everyone takes them out. This seems like such a close-knit community. I really love it. It's more of a central store, I guess. But you won't need anything while you're here. Everyone will be queuing up to give you what you need. 
Is it really so rare to have visitors? The last visitor we had was Spike. Oh well, maybe Grobert? But he comes and goes so much. Spike arrived here when I was a teenager. He was such a mysterious stranger. He runs the bar over there now. Uh, anyway. Cool, so the shop is for trade? Really, it's just a way to pull our resources. And I keep the inventory. I'm very good at maths. <laughs> Speaking of which, can you do me a favor and go tell Jell-A their order is in? Jell-A. I've got some, I've just got some potash. Uh, where should I go? Head down deep into the cave? <laughs> Gel A lives right at the bottom. They're our resident chemist. The potash is for soap, you see. Don't be scared by their appearance. Gel A is completely lovely. Yuki tried to explain it to me once. I think they came from a different process than, like, humanoid mutations? But anyway. Okay, sure. Alright, it seems like already everyone is just sending us out to do stuff. I need to look for tongue. Wait, what's back here? Oh, hey! Okay, it did say he was behind something on the harbor. Oh, there's dots. Is there anything here to look at? This thing has seen better days. Anything else to look at? Okay, let's talk to tongue. Oh, um, hey. Uh... Nice to see you not wielding any boxes. Are you kidding or are you actually annoyed? Oh my gosh, I relate to that so much. So me. Kidding? Maybe it was weird to ask. I'm just pretty terrible at reading people, I guess. Sorry, start over? Oh, okay, sure. So, um... This is my boat. Looks very... boaty. <laughs> That's all you have to say. I figure I could do with a ticket to freedom. It's nice here, in theory. But... It's also just jungle and family. That would make sense, like, I think it's so beautiful here, but if you'd grown up here your whole life, I could understand wanting to get away. I get it. It's like learning to drive in the city. Yes, exactly that. So, you were brought up by your mom? Uh... Let's be honest. Not always. I mean, I've had to bring myself up a bit. It's just me, my little brother, Toby, and her now. But it's only been like that for a couple of years. What happened to your... Um... I, I don't see why we wouldn't be honest. Like, there's nothing to hide. There was an accident. My dad left. I know it's bad, but um, sometimes I think I'd feel better if he'd, if he died, it wouldn't have felt like it was our fault. Ooh. Can't say I recommend it. This is awkward, I wish I had chosen the other option. This boat was my dad's. He had a proper boat too, that's what he left on. He used to call this his little runabout. Well, it's yours now. Yeah. It's mine now. Time to work out what I want it to be. Oh, wow. I can totally understand what tongue means. I mean, 
Oh, seeds. Wild grass seed. I mean, losing someone that's important to you either way would be difficult, but I think I get what he means by it. it's different because his father chose to leave them, whereas it might have been easier if it had been an accident, so it wasn't like he chose to leave them, he just you know what I mean? I, Although I don't think either of them are necessarily easier, but I can get why he would think that. Wonder who lives here? Let's explore a little bit more along here. Um, this is the boat we arrived on. Oh, there's a chicken! Oh! Hi, chickens! Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to startle you. Um, let's check the journal again. Um... Okay. Guess I should go give this message to the cave person. Um, that was pretty a pretty broken looking boat, but what do I know about boats? Tongue's cool, kind of mopey, but though I don't know. Maybe I seem mopey too. Give Patash's message to cave person, aka Gel A. Okay. This place is so gorgeous. I really need to keep an- oh, let's have a look at this boat. Lullaby. Funny name for a boat. I love that! That is an amazing name for a boat. I want to name a boat Lullaby. I think this is the cave? I think? Uh... Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh, it kind of reminds me of a platypus, except that looks more like a trunk. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Why do I have an urge to hit these big old pipes with a hammer? I don't know. I probably wouldn't recommend that. What are you? You look so cute. I want to interact with you. Can I talk to you? I don't know, sweet thing. The readings just won't improve. That's why I've not been able to spend so much time with you in your pipe. It's the bedrock of our whole ecosystem. But I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll bring you some nice crispy blue bugs as a treat, and how about that? Sweet thing? Please talk to me. Um, okay. Moving right along. Oh my gosh. These guys remind me of that old TV show, Cat Dog. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? Whoa, these roots go on forever. This is really cool. Um, can we talk to you guys? I'm just saying, you're always just saying. There's a market opportunity out there. The <laughs> wiener. <laughs> I guess because they're sausages. At least that's that's what I think they are. I mean, I don't know. They look like sausages to me, especially these two. <laughs> the metrics are dire. Perhaps we need a new productivity matrix? Uh, hi, I'm Kai. Maybe we need to update our metrics. What's a market opportunity? A gap in the market. Market. Uh... Is that manure you're shoveling? Grub's currently got a monopoly on ferry crossings, but he doesn't have to. That's a market opportunity? It would be. It is! If we actually lived in a market economy. <laughs> economy. That settles it. Let's reformat both the matrix and the metrics. I do not understand what's happening here. I guess you don't want to talk to me. Okay... <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means. Whoa, look at this. <gasps> oh, more stuff. Mushrooms, I love mushrooms. Two lupin hat spores. What's this? Oh cool, this is like an extractor on a cooker, but for science. Okay, what's this? Big enough to crawl through, but way too filthy to try. Okay, oh, what's this? This doorway feels weirdly organic. Okay. 
Ooh, this is kind of like a like retro style room. Whoa, check out this purple crystal. Is it amethyst maybe? That's my first thought when I hear purple crystal. Oh wait, I need to check my journal. Um, okay, nothing else has happened. What's, ooh, this is all the seeds I've got. Otherworldly, cave soil, throbs, swamp. Okay. Airports. Acoustic guitar. Resonances. Okay. I really want to paint these plants. Oh, look at them. Even just the wild grass. I want to, I want to paint them and like create a painting garden. Um... Have we just stumbled on something radioactive? Uh, let's speak. Or oh, inter. Oh, mm, okay, it has a face. Oh, hello. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a jellyfish crossed with a fungus. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's cute. This is gel A. Second generation biological outcome. Ah! <laughs> yes, I am rather impressive. Oh my gosh, Gel A, you are adorable. Although less than optimal at the present time. Uh, less than optimal? I have to acquire my nutrients from the earth. I must spend part of each day recharging as you might when you sleep or eat. However, for some time, the quality of the soil in our biome has been degrading. Um, can I help? I need means of supplementing my nutrition. Hold on. Supplements? I do not fully ascertain your meaning. <laughs> Jelly, your face is so cute. Explain, take action. I think explain first. My mum always makes me carry vitamin pills. She says with all the sport I do, I need extra stuff. It sounds like what you need. Oh, we gave Jelly the vitamin pill. Intriguing. It seems parental care includes the supplementation of organic compounds required for normal growth and nutrition. Gratitude. You're welcome, Jelly. Oh. Claire has some, um, potash for you. I was supposed to tell you. Understood. I will now assimilate these resources. <laughs> I think Jelly is the, my favorite. Wait, where did he go? Or oh, they, where did they go? Jelly is the, my favorite individual that I've met so far. What does the journal say? Is it weird to really like the jelly person? <laughs> no, it's not. I love the jelly person. I really like the jelly person. I can't work out if they're a mutant or what though. It seems different to the others. Again, probably best not to ask. Yeah, I, I don't want to pry too much. I should go see how grandpa is doing. Yes, I should. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And next time we will check on Grandpa. I love Jell A. Jell A seems like such a sweetheart. And they have the cutest face. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love, I love this world. It's so relaxing and so beautiful. And I love meeting all the different individuals. Mew and Jell A are probably the two most interesting ones that I've met so far. And those triceratops cow things. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!